Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 9 of NCL, your Chicago Baratics taking on Ronin and the Phantom Greninja. Uh, just a quick check here, because we've got very close into uh, playoffs here, so unfortunately Lux, who I played last week and lost to, um, had to leave the season, so he's actually eliminated from playoffs because of the way that they... Uh, do it in NCL is your, if you take two forfeits, you're out of playoffs, which is something I'm looking at doing with WWC Season 4. So that officially kicks Lux out, uh, moves everybody below him up a spot um, as far as playoffs go. So even though I'm in ninth, I'm technically in 8th. And you can see here that the Phantom Greninja are in 10th, technically 9th. So the loser of this one drops to 9th and is out of playoffs for right now. Um, so I pretty desperately need to win this one. I need to win them all going out just to have a chance to get back up into uh, playoff position. But, uh, that's not my team. That's my team. So uh, this week we do have our Kingdra and our Aegislash. So Mega Glade, Genesec, Zero, or Politoed, Kingdra, Kabutops, Garbodor, Gudra, Kungfei, Aegislash, and Town. Ronin here has Mega Scizor, Ash Greninja, Necrozma Crook, Zarina, Jellicent, Claydol, Infamaper Bombi, Noivern, and Electros. Um, I was trying to get Crook from Ronin, and it just never worked out between the two of us. Um, I tried really, really hard because I wanted a ground type, um, and I was going to give up Age Slash for it, but he wanted Zero Aura, and I wanted. Zeb Strike to replace Zero Aura, and he just didn't want to use his moves for that, so. This is it. He is the one that I traded for Mega Glade for, so. Um, but his team has several anti rain mons on it, uh, several rain abusers, so. It's very, very difficult with a full. I mean, basically now being a full rain team. Um. Honestly, Mega Scissor makes sense to abuse the rain. Ash Ninja makes a lot of sense. It doesn't get items, by the way. That can make sense. Zarina, I think, definitely comes because it shuts down rain and it shuts down Gale Wings Talonflame with Queenly Majesty. We tested that earlier this week. Jellicent comes just because it's so bulky and shuts down um, rain with water absorb. Rabombi could come to set webs. Noivern could come to abuse Hurricane. Eel is a big pain in my butt. I don't really have much to deal with it, so Eel makes a lot of sense. Claydol, not so much. Ape could come, but it's got such a bad matchup. Crook could come, um, just to Scarf, because I am ground weak. I think Crook comes over Claydol. Necro could come, not 100% thinking it does, but it definitely could. But Jumping into the team builder here, we have Kumfei with the Berry Berry, um, which is the Steel Resist, U-Turn, Drain, Kiss, Hidden Power, Fire, Defog. Um, this week, the front office built a lot of sets that I'm not necessarily comfortable with, but, you know, it's do or die for me, so gotta go with it. Um, U-Turn to Pivot, Drain, Kiss, obviously, with Triage for priority to hit Grend, to hit Crook, to hit Infernate, to hit Noivern all super effectively. Um, hidden Power Fire for switch ins to Scissor. So if Scissor switches in on me without scouting for Hidden Power Fire, uh, then uh, it's two shot by Comfey and I don't die to the um, bullet punch because of the uh, Babiri Berry. Um, so that's an easy way to clear Scissor out. And then Defog, um, I have Kabutops to Rapid Spin, I have Talonflame to Defog, I have Comfy to Defog. That's it. So I need uh, Defog um, to keep webs off my side of the field and rocks because Talonflame's Gale Wings is going to be very critical this week. Um, so I have to keep that intact. Max HP, max defense, a little bit of speed. That's how Ryze built it. Genesect here is Shock Drive with Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Bug Buzz, and Techno Blast. Uh, I really, really wish I could have a fifth move slot here. Um, as far as speed stat wise, we're outspeeding the Crook. Um, the 
that was all the special attack investment I need to Oko at plus one. Um, or take Ko in most cases, and then the rest went into bulk. Um, I really, really wish I had another move slot so I could carry Technoblast Water and T-Bolt instead of Technoblast um, Electric. Uh, flamethrower is to knock out his scissor to hurt Zarina, take out Rebombi. Um, the Ice Beam is for Noiburn, also for Zarina, for Crook, for Play It All. Uh, Bug Buzz hits the Greninja, hits the Crook, hits the Zarina, hits the Necrozma. Um, all super, super hard. And then the Technoblast Electric is there to hit both Noiburn which is not super effective, and to clip out Jellicent. Um, Genesec of Homey of Jellicent is uh, Spadef or Fizdef. Um, if it's Spadef, then Zero Aura beats it. If it's Fizdef, then Genesec beats it um, with Technoblast Electric. Uh, I have to be careful with Hidden Power Fire coming off of that thing, though. So I have to watch out for Hidden Power Fires across the board. But the reason I want Douse Drive is so if for some reason, I really don't think Infernape comes, but if it comes, then Genesec can hit Infernape super effectively. But if I give up the Electric Techno Drive and put Thunderbolt over Ice Beam so I can hit Jellicent if it's Special Jell or Fizdef Jellicent, then Noivern's an issue, and I can't hit Noivern. So I either have to make Ape an issue or Noivern an issue, and I see Noivern more likely coming than Ape. So... If Ape comes, I don't really have a Water-type hit for it across the board, which is why Talonflame becomes that much more important. Um, this is a weird Glade set um, as well. It's Support Glade um, from Ray Sachi again with this one. Max HP, Max Spadef, a um, little bit of attack, no speed investment. Uh, with Knockoff, Wish, T-Wave, and Taunt. Um, so his switch-ins to this are Necro, um, Rebombi, uh, and Noivern. Uh, Necro getting taunted stops it from setting up. Rebombi getting taunted stops it from putting it down webs or whoever gains me. Noivern getting taunted stops a Defog or a Roost. So that's always good. Um, knockoff, if it's Scarf, um, Noivern it clears that. Crook could potentially come in, um, not necessarily, but knocking off its scarf would be great. Um, just the only thing that doesn't carry an item is Gren and Scissor, so knocking anything but a Z user off would be huge. Uh, wish, obviously, so I can wish, pa wish pass into Talonflame, Genesect, Zara Aura, Gudra, all of which greatly appreciate it. Um, T Wave is there to slow the Ash Greninja down. Um, it's there to slow the Noivern down. It's there to slow Rebombi down. Because paralyzing any of the three of them is huge for me. Um, just because Noivern no longer becomes as big of an issue, I can hit it first uh, with the Parod. Rebombi can't Quiver Dance and outspeed me. It's got to put up two to get back to base speed. And paralyzing the Greninja is always good. And so yeah, that's... Uh, that's Glade. I have two special wall, or one special wall, one physical wall. Um, Gujra here is definitely on the more offensive side. It's not the AB set that I normally run. Um, it's leftovers with Gooey, so if he U turn, not U turns, but if he makes contact with me, um, he slows down. So slowing down Crook, Ape, um, Physical Necrozma, Greninja trying to Ice Punch me. Slowing all of those down is really, really nice because of Gooey. Um, I am sub because if I can get a sub up, um, I guarantee you can take things out very, very quickly. We are max HP um, with a little bit of spadef that lets us live a Z Draco from Noiburn, and I can kill back with Dragon Pulse. Um, the speed stat wise, 221 is to outspeed. It's either Zarina or Clay Doll. I don't remember which one I'm out speeding. It's one or the other. Um, and then we went modest, um, special attack wise. So, 
Uh, but if I get up a sub, then I can Dragon Pulse, Fire Blaster, and T-Bolt behind that sub. Um, Dragon Pulse is there for um, clipping out Noivern. Uh, Fire Blast for Scissor. Fire Blast for Zarina. Uh, Fire Blast for Rebombi. Fire Blast does a decent chunk to non-AV. I fully expect if Heal comes, it's like max defense AV. Um, so hitting that would be good, which is why I want to knock it off too. And Fire Blast just hits hard. And then T-Bolt is there to take out Jellicent. If he tries to switch in like Spadef Jellicent on me, um, I can take that out. Biggest issue is Necro coming in and starting to set up on me. Um, up next, that's not the right talent flame. Or did I change that later? I changed that later so I can take out A. I think that's why I changed it was so I could take out A, but or Jelly, one or the other. I wasn't Flyzy originally, I was Fire AMZ, but I think it was so I could take out the Jellicent. Um, the reason why I don't want to be Flyz is because um, that Zarina stops Gale Wings, so it would burn my Z Crystal, um, and I wouldn't have that, um, which is why I was Fire AMZ, so I could Flare Blitz it, kill it, keep Gale Wings intact, and then still be able to Brave Bird something. But why would he switch in Zarina? Okay, yeah, that's the argument we had. Why would he switch in Zarina? I'm gonna go double check in the front office and make sure I have the right team here. Teams or sets. Because I did have to remake this team. Luckily, I had the Poke Paste. But I just want to double check. <coughs> I was Flyzy. I was Flyzy. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I was Flyzy. Um, I did change it back. Um, but anyways, um, Brave Bird Roost, Swords Dance, Flare Blitz. Um, having Gale Wings is critical in taking out Scarf Date, potentially. Um, or putting a big hit on something else. At plus two, Flyzy takes out Jellicent. Uh, Brave Bird and Flare Blitz will both take out Zarina. Crook dies to Blurry Bird at plus two. Scissor dies to Flare Blitz normal. Greninja dies to plus two Brave Bird. Rabombi dies to plus two Brave Bird. Uh, Noivern gets nuked by plus two Brave Bird. Eel actually gets nuked by plus two um, Flyzy Brave Bird. So it's very, very critical that I get Talon up to plus two and then beat something down. Uh, speed stat wise, we are faster than um, Noivern, so I'll know if he's scarfed. Um, and then finally, we have Zero Aura, and it's not Taunt, it's Knock. Because um, Gallade's carrying Taunt, I believe. If I remember correctly, yeah, Gallade's got Taunt, so I can free up a slot on Noivern, or Zero Aura. Uh, speed stat wise, um, 400 puts us faster than. Um, Why am I 400 speed? Oh, I'm faster than Greninja if it battle bonds. That's why. Um, yeah, I'm faster than Greninja if it battle bonds. That's why. Uh, max attack, the rest into HP. Uh, Plasma Fist, Fire Punch, CC, and Knock. Um, CC will kill the Krug. Fire Punch for the Scissor. Plasma Fist for Jellicent, and Greninja Knock is good for Zara Aura. Fire Punch for Zarina, and also knocking it off is very, very nice. Uh, knocking Claydol is great. Knocking Noivern is great. Knocking Infernape, if it's there, gets rid of its potential Scarf. Um, Fire Punch for the Rebombi. Um, knocking off Eel. If it's AV, Max Defense Eel, it's there to check Zara Aura, so knocking off its Assault Vest would be great um, because then I can just switch out into Gudra and beat it down so 
But yeah, that's going to be the team. Hopefully we can pick up the win. Uh, check out the match tomorrow. Check out the links in the description down below. Luke and Jaden. Well Gamer Discord. Weather Gamer Twitch. And there is a Patreon down there um, if you would like to do that. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Oh, my God.